What's up guys? Welcome back to the range. As you know over the last couple of months we've been testing uh, the normal Viper, the second focal plane optic from Vortex. Now for the last two months that project's been on ice a little bit um, and when I say that I mean that literally. As you can see behind me there's a solid block of ice. Um, this the scope's been in there for two months so what we've done is actually tested the waterproofing to see if water would actually go into the optic while it was not frozen yet and if in fact it did as the water exploded it would have cracked stuff in the middle there or possibly broken some seals so we're gonna wait for it to get out the ice and then we'll be shooting it out to distance now unfortunately today it's not very sunny out in Cape Town so we're gonna have to come up with a creative way to get it out the ice so today I brought my Daria MK12 this is actually a fully semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun so I'm gonna load it up with some Ely number no. 5 and uh, let's see what we got moment of truth I'm just gonna put this down and uh, let's go investigate actually uh, let's go investigate just like so that was pretty spectacular so I actually can't see the scope yet because it has fallen underneath the pallet so I'm quite excited to see what the end result is here uh, I don't know pause the video and hit a comment down below if you think it's still it's still intact. I don't know, man. That was pretty. That was pretty crazy. So, uh, okay, let me let me spin this around. I'm gonna put the the um, shotgun down, and uh, so I can show you guys a little bit better what we're working with, and that I have two hands. So just give me a sec. Okay, let's pop you out of your thing. Right. Okay. The moment of truth, guys. Ah, uh, this is what we're working with. Um. Okay, we got plenty of ice in the objective store, but pretty, looks pretty good actually. Oh shit, um, that just came off. But we can see glass, we don't have broken glass, that's a good sign. So, um, okay, well that, that should just go straight back, straight back on the front. Let me get it out of, so we don't get it all muddy and stuff. Not that that matters. Uh, yeah, that just basically turns back onto the side. Um, the other problem we're facing here at the moment is it's filled with ice. And we can't really wait for the ice to go off. So what we're going to need to do is speed things up a little bit. Now, the good thing when you reload, you've got things that can speed things up. I don't think you're going to be able to see the flame, but we should be able to just get rid of all the ice. Okay, this may be up. Right, guys, I'm going to get rid of the rest of the ice, and then we'll do some shooting uh, once we've got the sucker mounted back up. I'll see you then. So, seeing that this is a precision rifle channel, uh, it seems appropriate that we engage the target off a barricade or some stuff. So, what I've got set up behind me is just a normal W gate. Uh, for those kids in South Africa, you probably know the game W gate. We used to play it quite a lot. This is not a dial scope, it's a hunting scope. It's meant to be held over, so that's what we're going to be doing. But I can confirm to you, nothing is wrong, as I did need to re-zero this sucker just to make sure I have also changed loads in this rifle so the zero wasn't off by much but the dials everything work keep in mind this was frozen solid in a piece of ice for two months um, there's no fogginess the reticle is crystal clear as far as I can tell the only thing there's a little bit of mud on from when it got shot off the it got shot off the thing of ice so we have some plates out at they're probably about 250 meters from here. So I'm gonna engage the far this one first and then we'll shoot the close ones and see what we can do. Right, that was about two, probably about 270 meters. Let's engage the little ones at the front. I 
love shooting this gun. Um, great little scope. There's a reason this is a very popular little hunting scope in South Africa. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how further to torture these. Um, they've both st stood up great to what I could throw at them or, or throw them at. I'm very happy with the results we've gotten. Have you guys got any suggestions? What else would you like to see me do with these? These have been donated to us to test to their limits. I'm sort of running out of ideas. I've set them both on fire. I've thrown the one out the car. This one has been sent a while, uh, quite a ways through the air, been frozen. So running out of ideas. Anyway guys, um, let me know what you think we can do to step things up a little bit, go to the next level. I was thinking we should go skydiving, okay? And then like chuck it with a big long ribbon that's pink or something so we could find it afterwards. What do you guys think about that? If we can reach if we can hit a thousand likes then maybe I can get the guys to organize skydiving for us and see if what we can do with these two optics anyway thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it get out there shoot your guns have fun and um, I'm gonna do some more shooting now because that was a ton of fun see you guys bye